What if I were to tell you that I believe beyond any reasonable doubt that I know the next major Zelda game that's coming after Echoes of Wisdom? And no, we're not talking about the often rumored Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker. In fact, what we're about to talk about sort of takes them off the table for at least a little while. And I'm not saying that the next Zelda style game couldn't be a spin-off game, you know, like your Link's Crossbow Training or another Hyrule Warriors or Cadence game. Those are all entirely possible. But we're talking about the way Nintendo's handling the mainline Zelda games because something is going on and has been going on for some time that heavily, heavily indicates that, you know what, this is <laughs> likely what's coming next. Now, look, I need to, before I dive in, remind everyone that one, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and help us get there if you're really enjoying this content and want more content like it, especially on slower news days. And yes, uh, go down below and let me know if any of this is crazy. Uh, we're gonna go through a history here on how we figured this out. But I also wanna make sure that I give full credit over to Andres Restart. Uh, he actually put up a video together on this a couple of weeks ago that was actually a continuation of an ongoing conversation he and I have had for years about what's happening with Zelda, what's happening with Aonuma teasing Zelda games. Uh, the last time I really had a huge conversation about this on my channel was back when Skyward Sword HD was coming out back in 2021. And I never really talked about it after Echoes of Wisdom got announced, even though there's actually evidence for that as well. It's actually pretty crazy. Uh, but all of this teasing from Aonuma, and, and this is what's really key here. I believe Aonuma has teased the next game after Echoes of Wisdom. This all really began all the way back in 2013. You see, back in 2013, in an interview with IGN, Aonuma said the following. He was being asked about Majora's Mask. And Nintendo's AJ Nomo is keeping quiet about the potential of Majora's Mask remake. This is back on the 3DS. So Ocarina of Time 3D has already come out. Majora's Mask 3D has not been announced. And in an interview, Aonuma laughed. Here's what he said when asked directly. Please write that I laughed. Aonuma told IGN in response after indeed laughing. Don't make it sound like I laughed because I was troubled or inconvenienced or put out. I don't want them to read anything into it. But if you want to say that I laughed, I think that would be a good answer. Then he was pressed on how fans should interpret that. Aonuma simply told us it's really up to them. If they want to interpret my laughter as, yeah, we're making it or no, we're not. I guess it's really up to them. Now, this is an important thing to note because it shows that Alnuma will go out of character to tease things without getting in trouble with Nintendo, right? Like the big thing is you're not allowed to tease future games or announce future games before Nintendo is ready to announce them. Although Alnuma ended up doing that one time as well. And we'll get into that. But I do think it's important to note that he does go out of character during interviews when pressed on things that he happens to know are coming. Obviously, we know Majora's Mask 3D was being made and did come out. Hence him doing this sort of laughter thing was a really heavy indicator that <laughs> I do know something. I might not be able to tell you exactly what it is, but you're probably on the right track, right? So I found that to be quite interesting. But here's the thing. If that was just the only time he did that, we would just, you know, let it go. And it is what it is. But it's not. It's not because back in 2016, well, we all knew that Breath of the Wild was coming at this point. And Anuma stated the following in an interview with Edge Magazine. We got this here over from Nintendo Life. And this is really, really fascinating. It says, actually, Nintendo has been telling me to create a new IP, but then they're also telling me to make more Zelda games. I can't really share much. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say anything, but I really like the idea of where I can live as a thief. That's all I'll say. Now, this was back in 2016, and when 2019 came around, they announced the Link's Awakening remake. They just titled it Link's Awakening. And in Link's Awakening, you become a thief. You steal something from a shop, and you are called a thief the rest of the game. Now, what's fascinating is he actually did a new interview with Edge Magazine 
at that time where they asked him directly about that thief comment in 2016 and Aonuma admitted that yes, he was teasing Link's Awakening. So again, we have multiple instances here where Aonuma has been teasing stuff. And look, that's all cool and that's all fine. Uh, but again, does this mean this is what he always does? Well, in 2018, he had a concert, a one of those Zelda concerts that kept going on. And uh, he went in this concert here and he was also on stage and he decided to say the following. I know what you're thinking. Onuma supposedly remarked, Skyward Sword for Switch, right? And the crazy thing about this comment is this is the first time he made a comment like this is very direct, by the way. He's never, if you notice with his prior two teases, mentioned a game in his words in response to questions. He just gave teases or awkward laughs. In this case, he literally says Skyward Sword for Switch, right? Like directly for Switch. Nintendo had to come out the next day and issue this. According to Eurogamer, Nintendo spokesperson commented on the potential of Skyward Sword being ported to Switch and said, at this time, we have no plans to release Skyward Sword on Nintendo Switch. So they had to go ahead and deny, deny, deny because this game was not meant to be announced. Now that was back in 2018. And obviously, as we know, Skyward Sword HD did come out, well, in 2021. Now that was obviously more of a direct tease from Aonuma, but still notable now that that's three straight games that were teased by Aonuma. Now, okay. Is there even more things? Well, actually, yeah. Uh, what about Echoes of Wisdom? The game was recently announced. It comes out this September. I'm very excited. Waiting for some new information, screenshots, and details on that game. Should be getting some soon. But what if I were to tell you that uh, in interviews last December with IGN, that yeah, uh, Aonuma was talking about a playable Zelda game as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. You're seeing here, I choose the kingdom does leave door open for playable Zelda in a future release. Uh, here's what Aonuma had to say. Yeah, it's interesting when you think about the name of the series, The Legend of Zelda, but Link is always the main character, Aonuma admitted when asked about the potential for Zelda to be playable in the future. And Link has been the main character and Zelda has always been involved and they have a relationship and their own rules in each of the games. But it is true that I think there will always be room for thinking about this type of thing and Zelda's role. And there may be some sort of possibility for something like that in the future. Then Aonuma, who was speaking through a translator, immediately interjected in English, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, so again, acting weird, going out of character, uh, speaking in English in this time, maybe, 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 interjecting, yeah. And then we got Echoes of Wisdom. So why does this all matter? Well, because Echoes of Wisdom wasn't the only future Zelda game that he was teasing. And this is where we need to get into uh, some of the stuff that we're talking about, how we kind of know what's coming after Echoes of Wisdom. Now, we don't know when it's coming, and you know, it could be 2026, could be 2025. It's not as if we know uh, directly, but we do have a couple of teases. And this is where things get things get a little wild. Things get just a little bit wild. So first we have an interview with Nintendo Dream, and this had to do uh, with Tears of the Kingdom, and they were talking about Raru. And when we go over here, this is all uh, translated in uh, Japan. Raru is called Raw in the, the direct translation, but it's it's Raru in English. And Fujibayashi talked about it, and he's important to pay attention to because he's the director of the Zelda series at this point. But Aonuma chimed in and said, when I first heard that he would be named Raru, I thought it was a very natural progression. Talk about the character in Tears of the Kingdom. But I wonder how many people who are currently playing Tears of the Kingdom know the character Raru, which is interesting because Raru's only appeared two other times in the Zelda series as a town in Zelda 2, but only one other time as a character, and that was as a guiding character in Ocarina of Time. Kind of see where... I'm going here, but again, that's just circumstantial. That's not everything, but this isn't circumstantial. This is direct, as direct as it gets with Aonuma behaving in a very 
peculiar way. So here we have this interview of Game Informer again around Tears of the Kingdom with Aonuma and Fujibayashi talking about Tears of the Kingdom and the reception, their approach to the timeline. This interview got a lot of attention back in the day because of um, them basically dismissing the timeline, which made a lot of Zelda fans get mad. Uh, this is also the interview where they basically pseudo confirmed they're not making a third game in the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom line. Like the new game is going to be a completely new direction. And Fujibayashi was like, yeah, I've got some ideas already. I got to go over it with Aonuma. Okay, cool. That's a pretty big reason to cover this interview. But one question at the end didn't quite get as much coverage, although we did cover it at the channel. And I think it's important to note as we get up here, it says right here, thank you so much for your time. I've heard about how sometimes questions about games can inspire them to be made. So I selfishly wanted to ask you about a modern Ocarina of Time remix. This is a direct question on a modern day Ocarina of Time remake. But I have a feeling I know the answer I'll get. Aonuma laughs. Again, note that laugh. No comment. Now, he didn't deny it. He denied making a third game in Zelda. He denied making even a dungeon maker at one point. But he's not denying when asked directly about a modern day Ocarina of Time remake. Now, why is that? Well, suffice it to say, it would seem that it's because there's going to be a modern day Ocarina of Time remake remake and it's probably already in the works now obviously the question is when would this come out and uh i know over in andres restarts video he proposes that it's going to be in 2026 and that could make a lot of sense for a number of reasons uh not just because there could already be a slew of major games already ready to go for the first year of nintendo switch 2 so having zelda sort of be a headliner for the year two could make a lot of sense it's also because right now while there's no definitive date it does appear that nintendo is targeting 2026 for the zelda movie and if the zelda movie has any sort of references to ocarina of time in it it might be a great time to bring that product back and we can talk about other tangential evidence like there's a great deku tree lego set coming out that happens to have you know the breath of the wild tears of the kingdom great deku tree or you could build the great deku tree from ocarina of time also the last time they released ocarina of time officially in terms of like a new game not on nso was all the way back in 2011 so it'll have been 13 14 15 years since the game last got a brand new release by nintendo so there's a lot of reasons it can make a sense for this game to come out it's also the highest rated game of all time it's never really had a true modern remake like ocarina in time 3d is cool but it didn't really take things in the hd and and, and really you know modernize the game it just kind of made it look a little bit prettier and playable on 3ds so in the end and i don't want to be a disservice uh, grezzo did a great job with ocarina time 3d i just want to make sure that we're focusing on the right things here and that is that the future of zelda appears to be yeah we're going to get a new grand zelda game one day obviously they've already teased that but what we're actually focusing in on here is a known property coming next and i don't think it's going to be the wind waker i don't think it's going to be twilight princess i know we're waiting on those games but it sounds like ocarina of time now personally i don't want to rule out 2025 and uh, this is a game that's not announced yet so you know who knows but I, I i do think 2025 could make some sense it kind of depends like we just assume a monolith soft game is going to come out next year we don't know that for sure. We know Pokemon Legends ZA, we know Metroid Prime 4, probably a 3D Zelda and a Mario Kart. I think those are games you can bank on pretty hard for next year, but that doesn't mean that they couldn't throw in an Ocarina of Time remake at some point in there. A lot of it's going to depend when is Nintendo Switch 2 coming out, because I do firmly believe an Ocarina of Time remake project is probably a lead system selling type project for Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, now, Look, we don't know definitively that Ocarina of Time remake is coming, and we've talked a lot about the potential of an Ocarina of Time remake in the past, but it's been so long since we actually put all these interview quotes together to really come to that conclusive ideal that, yeah, this is actually a distinct, real possibility, and not just a possibility, I think it almost seems like a likelihood. In fact, if an Ocarina of Time remake isn't in the works right now, then that would actually be out of character for how Aonuma has been teasing Zelda games for over a decade. That's right, folks. We brought up things going all the way back to 2013. So it's been over a decade of him teasing future Zelda games, including Echoes of Wisdom. So I think that this is something we need to take very seriously. I also think this is something to be extremely hyped about. And again, 
there's all that tangential stuff like with the Lego set and who knows what story might be told with the Zelda movie. And I think there's every reason for anyone that's been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a brand new uh, behemoth remake of a Zelda game to come to firmly believe it is indeed Ocarina of Time. So shout out again to dear friend of the channel and uh, one of the co-hosts of our podcast, Andres Restart. Uh, there's no love lost here. We've been talking about this thing together for so many years. I just haven't covered it again or updated it since Echoes of Wisdom. And uh, it's just time, guys. It's time for us to start getting hyped about the potential Ocarina of Time remake. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.